What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a quick little video on how I make deer jerky. So two days ago I actually made a brine for this deer jerky. It's kind of just all my seasonings put together into a baggie, mix it all up and then I left it in the fridge which is what we're about to get out right now. It is sitting right there but the list of all the ingredients will be down in the description below if you guys want to try this out. I didn't really measure anything, so it's kind of just up in the air on that. It's just, if you like tasting one thing more than the other, you can add more of that. So this is actually the deer that I killed in the previous video. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure to go back on the channel and pull up that video. But right now we're going to get this deer meat on the dehydrator and go from there. And I'll kind of just put you through the paces and show you what I like to do. I mean, it's really pretty much simple at this point. After you have your brine, your deer meat and everything in there, that's pretty much the hard part. Um, but now it's time to be patient. So I'm not even gonna dry this stuff off. I'm kind of just gonna throw it right onto this dehydrator. And good grief, I can smell the pepper in that. I like pepper, so I added a good bit of pepper to this mixture and a good bit of garlic powder as well. But here's your racks right here with your dehydrator. And all I'm gonna do is pull this right out of the bag set it on this. So now we're gonna get our jerky right out of the bag and just lay it right on top of these drying racks. And we have a good bit. This is probably the biggest batch of jerky that I have ever made. Golly, that smells so good. But this step is pretty easy. Make sure it's laid out pretty evenly. And like, this is how I did the strips. So there's some that are strips just like this. I mean, it looks exactly like a piece of beef jerky. But there's also some that is just like kind of random cuts of meat like that. So this is by far my favorite snack to eat up in a tree stand. It's easy, it's quiet, and it tastes so stinking good. I could sit down and eat a whole entire bag of that. Just, oh my gosh. We gotta get a close-up of this thing. Look at that. Another thing that you can do if you like a lot of pepper is once you get all your deer meat onto these drying racks, you can sprinkle like coarse black pepper over top of it if you like that peppery kind of bite. So I'm finally getting to post videos again. I know I haven't posted like my regular schedule, like how it was, two videos a week on Wednesdays and Sundays. But now we are trying to get back to that schedule. I've been hauling pumpkins all through September and then into October. But that is finally wrapped up and I can focus on filming videos again for you guys and hunting. So I'm super excited about that. But that is the first rack right here of our jerky. So I'm going to set this to the side and then we're going to start on our second rack. And pretty much I'm going to fill these all the way up just around and just leave it enough space so they're not sticking together or anything. A lot of air can get through them and dry that meat out really quick. So I'm gonna get this done and I'll pick you guys up once we get ready to put the top on. And I'll kinda tell you the temperature and all that that I do and for the length of time. But now we are done with our trays of jerky and we have an absolute stinking ton. We got that layer, that layer, we have that layer and there's still another one up underneath that so four really good jam-packed layers full of this delicious deer jerky but now we're gonna stick this lid on and it's pretty self-explanatory and easy because it literally tells you right here see if we can get a close-up so this makes it really easy meat fish and jerky and you're gonna go over here and look it's gonna be a hundred this will focus 160 degrees, so you're gonna crank it all the way up to the very top little notch right there. And basically all you do is you turn it on. You don't really turn it on, you just plug it in. It's that easy. So I'm gonna set this right on top, just like that. Now you scoot it to the edge because the, the cord's not that long. We're gonna go in and plug it right into the wall. And listen, you hear that? That's the heavenly noise of jerky being made. Oh my gosh. But it's that easy, 160 degrees. And now the aroma is gonna start filling the household full of that delicious jerky. And I'm guessing it's gonna take anywhere from 10 to 15 hours with that much jerky and that thick of pieces. So 
I'll let you guys know and I'll pick you guys up and probably, well, every two hours I'm going to switch it. So I'm going to put the bottom rack up top and so forth and so on and just keep alternating that probably every two hours. But I'll pick you guys up once we're a little bit closer to being cooked. So it'll probably be four hours or so. So I'll catch y'all then. Some of the little pieces of jerky are ready to get off here. So I'm going to grab them stick them right into this Ziploc baggie, but it's been going for probably six or seven hours, and we have been eating some of it, that's why the top rack has some missing, and it's stinking good. Let me tell you, it's really good. It's got a spicy kick, but the flavor's not overpowering. It's not like too less of flavor. It's right in the middle, it just tastes good. But I'm gonna grab some of these smaller pieces off that are already dry, get them in the bag, and we'll probably leave the other pieces, I'm just gonna be my camera person right now. And we'll probably leave some of those other bigger pieces on for another hour and a half or so. But, look at that. Oh my gosh. Got the pepper flake in there. It smells so good. You can smell the brown sugar, the soy sauce, all of that. So let's grab. Thin pieces. Go ahead and get them in the bag. That can come off. That can come off. We have so much jerky now, you don't know how excited I am. Because usually you snack on the jerky, or you don't make enough, you run out, but we still got a whole nother batch that we need to put on after this. So we're not gonna run out of jerky for a good while. This stuff is gonna stay on there just for another, I don't even know, just probably right at an hour. Look at that, we got four stinking racks in there. <laughs> so this is what we got on the first pull with some of the, the thinner stuff. Do a little taste test on it, I've already tried it, but just an excuse to eat more. That's so good. All right, so now I'm gonna put these racks back on. And this is gonna go for just probably another hour. We gotta run into town. We'll probably pull it off when we get back. They're just the thicker pieces. Moving on 160. Plug it in. We're good to go. Go on and unplug that thingy right there. And our deer jerky is finally done. Check that out. That smells so good. So the thicker pieces are finally finished. And I'm gonna take them off and stick them all in here. And then later on we can put them in like portion sized baggies that you can just grab and go. Like when you're going to your deer stand, going hiking, anything like that. Just be easy, grab a bag and go. But that is it. It's that simple. Then you have your whole entire bag. That is a ton of jerky. We're gonna be snacking on that for a good while. And I still have a bunch more in the fridge that needs to be dehydrated. I don't even know if this bag is gonna close. We're probably gonna have to get another bag. Mm. That's delicious. But it's that simple, that easy. Try this at home and I promise you will not be disappointed. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Post on Wednesdays and Sundays at 7 p.m. So we'll see you guys then. Thanks so much for watching once again. See y'all in the next one. Mm-hmm. Adios.